Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 6 of Proxima Beyond. As you can see, we are still aboard the Guppy, which we captured last time. And because of that, we are now also able to unlock the Grind to Learn mod. And I did that, of course, before we started. This means that with every block I dismantle, a new blueprint will be added to our library. Ironically, this mod also leaves me starting from scratch. I don't have a single blueprint available right now. Not even a basic light armor block. So I'm gonna have to grind down every block I can at the base to restore the blueprint library. So instead of trying to grind down an iron thruster right now and then quickly build a breaking one on the copy, I'm simply gonna do a flip and burn once we get there to stop at the base. I also have decided not to stick around the asteroid anymore as we do need to get on with our mission and for that we need to go and start traveling towards the planets. The only significant piece of equipment that I'm still missing is a refinery. However, with the new ability to grind to learn, there is no real rush to go and search for it. We're simply gonna grind down and rebuild the first one we encounter on the way. So the plan is to clean up the asteroid base and all our scrap, prepare a backup base just in case things really go wrong and then set off on our journey. Now, as you can see, if I go to my toolbar, you see I have not a single building block. If you check my toolbars here, all these toolbars are blanked out on are blanked out. That means I cannot build them. That means if I want to learn, for example, all these, let me just take my grinder and I'm going to go back to my toolbar so you can see what happens. If I grind this down, there we go. Now all the blocks that I just grind have been unlocked, at least all the ones that are linked to it. So if I want to have the, the plate there, I will have to grind down a plate. If I want the cylinder, I will have to grind down a cylinder. That's the same with the thrusters. If I want to grind down one of these thrusters, to build this one right here. Now I noticed there are some issues with this bot, as in it doesn't always unlock the blueprints. I've been doing a little bit of testing before I jump into this. For example, if I would grind down this ion thruster here, this should normally give me this thruster into my toolbar. As you can see, it has not happened. I did not receive this iron thruster and this could be because it's an npc iron thruster why does it say npc iron thruster did we okay give me a second did we transfer this over to me control panel corner light this is i am the owner this is not me this is not me this is nobody if i would select all of this and transfer this to me yes and i grind down this one now here does it still say npc it does say still npc let me just drop all my stuff in the back here let's uh, grind down one more let's see if this one gives me the blueprint there we go Nope, it did not give me the blueprint. As you can see, it should be right here. I don't know what DG is. Oh, that's the uh, world path. So it's not there, you see? Now, I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to grind down the small iron thruster. This one here. And now, there they are. Iron thrusters have been added. So, I'm hoping that we don't have the same issue with the uh, refinery where it does block us from getting that blueprint. Anyway, I'm going to drop a uh, iron thruster in here. And now that we're going to have to... Now that we can start welding things or actually learning things, I might have to upgrade my toolbar as well to the build parts that we get. Uh, I just want a small one, please. This is all too big. There. Yeah. That. I can weld this up. That should allow me to um, break. There's something weird. Did I lose? Oh. I am losing the thruster components because of the grind to learn? Really? Hmm. Oh, that's because of the assert. Oh, I 
Now I get it. Now I get it. The assert ships are not gonna give me the blueprints. Because it said an NPC iron thruster. This doesn't say that. This is an iron thruster. If I would grind that down, I'm grinding down every component from it. Yes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Now I get it. The iron thrusters of the assert ships actually do not return all the thrust components. As you can see, it says proprietary thrust components. That's why I'm not learning anything from this. That means we will have to see if I... No, this should be good. We might learn this. Okay. That's good to know. All right, let's um, withdraw some more thruster components. We should have quite a lot in our inventory anyway. And let's grind this up or weld this up. I was like very confused why it didn't work and now my penny drops is because these are the proprietary. There we go. So this one should now help me control the ship a little bit better. So these iron thrusters are completely useless because if I grind them down, I'm losing all thruster components. Okay. So the scrapyard build is, or, or the scrapyard or the income will probably be better than this. This is because there is also the mod we installed with the, what you call it, the um, assert thrusters. So that means we need to disengage them still. There we go. Let's just leave that one here. So we got the guppy. As I said, we have the grind to learn now. Uh, I'm going to have to fix my cockpit. And the one we could do is either grind this one down. Um, or grind a cockpit down. But I don't think these large ships have a cockpit. None of these. Um, wait. I do have a cockpit. We have a cockpit here. Uh, let's just recharge while we're here. I'm going to grind this cockpit down. And that should give me... The cockpit in here somewhere. Let me see. We should have cockpit. If I grind this down, does that light up my cockpit? It did. Okay, now I can weld up that cockpit again. Yep, that works. Okay, good. I'm, I'm happy with this mod. This mod is good. There we go. Let's uh, bring our ship to the lock. Yeah. All right, let's connect, recharge. There we go. Now you can recharge and do all that. All right, so what is the plan now? I think we're going to have to start grinding all our stuff down. So the drills, tanks, all that, uh, these, thing, these things here, we're going to grind this all down and start filling up our toolbar or our toolbar, our uh, progression bar. So that we actually can start building things without having to uh, salvage them and move them with the world uh, mod. Um, the, another thing I want to do is we're going to have to do a complete change here. So what I want to do in the ship is I actually want to move most of this away. Put a large container in here. And then have a assembler in here. The O2 generators, O2 tanks. So this is a bit of a self-sufficient uh, ship. That is going to allow us to just take off and go. So the plan here is we want to make the nacelle more self-sufficient so we can leave and start mining, assembling and all that. I don't have a, I don't have a refinery yet, but that's okay for the moment. We just need to be able to go find. And if you find a refinery, we can grind it down, learn the blueprint and move on. But we also don't want to just leave this place. Um, what I want to do is on the bottom here, I want to build a little bit of an encasing around this. Uh, clear up a bit of these as well. And I just want to have a little bit of a backup location here. What means I should be able to respawn here if it really, really goes bad. So I can respawn here and start again. But for that, 
I would of course like to have a a bit of a stock here. So maybe a container with some stuff in, maybe the assembler because I'm going to have to grind this assembler down. We can already start grinding that down. We're going to grind these things down, start transferring things over. We might actually even have a hydrogen tank here in the back, which should allow us to make uh, a bit of hydrogen. So we have everything as a backup in case I die, I can, cut, I can start from here again and continue. So that's the plan. Um, so that's going to be what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be starting to grind down a lot of the things we have. We're going to start with the cargo container, because if I learn the cargo container, I can already start dropping a cargo container down at the base. So this should be empty, yes. So I'm going to grind this down. Yes. Now we should have learned cargo containers. Yes, we did. Now I'm going to go down to the base here. Uh, what I'm going to do is put some blocks on top here. Just need to connect you guys together so that I can put the container below here. That would be better. Cargo container. I'm gonna weld this up. Now we have a car container at our base. Um, we can grind these down. I don't know. Do you have guys have ice in here? No. So I can grind you down in the meantime, learn you. No. Oh, let's grind these down as well. Move this all in here. There we go. So now we have a car container. We can grind this one down as well, I would say. As long as there's no ice in there. And we go again. Then here. We got two O2 oh, generators, which is okay for the moment. I'm going to grind this speed module down, I think it is. Power efficiency module. Which I think normally should also be added now to my ES. Great. And now we're going to grind down this one. But I might have to move... To the small cargo container just move it all over there so i can grind you down so now we should be able to build this again assembler yes there he is i'm gonna put that assembler here i'm gonna put it like that and then weld this up again While we're here, I should be able to disassemble my thrusters now. I need to check. Can I disassemble my thrusters? Because if I can disassemble my thrusters, I can make better tools. I don't know. If I now go to production, disassembler, assembler 2, and then we go to disassembling. I can make this. <gasps> we can now make batteries as well. Can make. Oh. That's good. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to disassemble about what? 50. Can we build speed modules? There we go. So this should do now. And a little bit quicker. And if I check my inventory, we are now making platinum. That means if I go to production, I should now be able to craft... This, this, and this. And that's going to be a huge improvement. I still probably have to uh, put my tool, character tools. I'm going to take one here. And then I'm going to take my character weapons. And we're going to take that one here. And then we're going to replace these with the other things. Small cargo container. I'm going to shift the lower gear, lower tiers in here. I'm going to keep this one because it's, it might be handy to just be able to uh, quickly disassemble things without wanting to grind them down. There we go. Now we're completely set up with a good set of tools. Um, let's go into the nacelle. Let's clear up some space here. Um, we're going to start with uh, moving away this beacon. We're going to move these gyros. Inventory full. Okay. Uh, I should be able to drop this in here. Uh, merge blocks can go. 
In the meantime, I'm also learning all that. Oh, I think I'm going to have to put a block here just to... So that block is going to hold up my thruster as long as uh, we're doing changes here so we don't lose anything. That means what we could do is uh, move this um, oxygen generator and we put it in between here. We definitely need to work on our toolbar now, but I'm, I'm not having everything yet, so it's not really worth spending time on that. But we're going to put a O2 generator like that, so that the connectors are connecting through to the uh, turret. But we also will be able to generate oxygen. Like that. Uh, you will see me struggle a little bit now with my controllers because I just broke my keyboard with spilling coffee on it. So, yeah. That's going to be fun for a while. Now, we're going to go down here and we're going to set these to... What I probably want to do, I want to lower all this. That means I probably want to build oxygen generators here on the back of the batteries. Uh, I also want to fix this battery. Oh, I need to... Um, Let's grind down one of these small batteries here. There we go. I should have now learned batteries, which means I should be able to fix you. You guys are pretty close, aren't you? 2.6, 2.5. Were you guys somehow waiting until my keyboard broke? Uh, this is too close. I don't know how does every faction have the same distance when they get triggered. I think we just, just, just look at that. 219. We're going up again. <sighs> that was close. Same with you. Stockpile. Alright, so now this should empty the tank in my nacelle. I think we're empty now. Yes, okay. Inventory full. <sighs> yes. It's gonna be much better once we have this container here. Um we're also gonna take our survival kit. Is there a way for us to disconnect you? That way I can move the batteries and I'm gonna move them down here. So if I grind you down, you still are connected. There we go. That should allow me to move you a level lower. And then I'll just merge you in that spot. Down there. There we go. Batteries are placed. Not entirely sure what we're going to do with the gyros, but they definitely have to move. Otherwise, I won't be able to... Because this is where the container is going to be. As I cannot move the thruster, we need to put the container in this location. Uh, let's start with building a assembler in here. And we're going to make sure that the conveyor ports are lined up so that the tank is linked up with the uh, turret outside. And that is also going to allow me to assemble things and stuff like that. So that would be nice. There we go. So, got an assembler. Got an O2 generator. Now, we could put an O2 tank in there. Because that should allow me to snap things against it on the sides. There we go. <sighs> so, we got an O2 tank. Then we could put a... Conveyor here, which then allows to put two OGEN and then we can put the gyroscopes on there. I think that might be a good idea. Put them on the batteries. Uh, I'm gonna have to grind one completely down, which is good. You know what? Let's go and grind down a small one, which should now have been added. Yes? I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna put one here. Now we can weld this up and grind the other two down. There we go. Now we should be able to put a container in between here. We find them. 
because I don't know where we put it. I think here. There we go. And we want to put one of those large containers. Like that. And I think we want to put it with the conveyor outside. There we go. Now we have a large cargo container. Uh, we can put another assembler there. But I won't be able to withdraw the resources from my container. So maybe I should build a, a, a conveyor here first to connect my container with the rest. That way, the whole thing is linked up again. There we go. So what we could do, we could put a uh, oxygen generator here, because on the bottom we don't need anything anymore to snap to it. So if you put an oxygen generator like this, with the connector up, uh, that should be just fine. And I can put it on both sides, so that should be okay. Yeah, let's do that. So, we got our gyros, we got our oxygen tank, we got our O2 generators, we got two assemblers. Um, anything else we would like to take with us? Oh yeah, we need a survival kit as well. I almost forgot about that. So let's get that survival kit. I'm just going to grind it down and then just build it up there again. I guess we can put the survival kit here. At least for now. We might still move it later, but it should be fine here. And let's uh, recharge. And oxygen and hydrogen is working as well, so that's a good sign. So everything is linked up. That means that this survival kit is working properly, so that's good. All right, next. Now that we have the restriction turned off, can we refine with our survival kit? If I would just make some... Um, where are the ingots? Um, I might have to mine some stone. If I mine some stone... And then I put it in the refinery, or not in the refinery, in the survival kit. If that works, at least I can make some basic stuff like nickel, uh, silicon, things like this. I don't think we can do magnesium, but we might have to test that. You are making nickel. Oh, yes. We can actually use the survival kit to start making nickel for batteries. Okay, that's going to be a, a big game changer. Uh, one final thing we need to put in here is a beacon in the nacelle. Uh, so that we can see where we are. There we go. So now this thing has a beacon as well. So we need we see where we are going. Or where it is. Um, right, guys, I think what I'm going to have to do here, and that's going to take... Oh, you know what I could do as well? Let's just remember. I could take this uh, reactor away. Just empty, so we could grind you away. Inventory and build you as well on the, on the nacelle. Which is going to give us some backup power if we need it. And we're going to place it in such a way that we still can connect to something in the back there. Um, we're going to turn you off as well because I just want to use you as a backup. And I think that's that's going to be it. I think that means that the nacelle is complete. I think we have everything we want in this place. But that's good. We got a second power source. That's good. Uh, let's just move the uranium in there as well. Um, uh, we should have some uranium now. I put it in here, so that's going to be our backup. can also refine some of that later, which is nice. Alright, so yeah, uh, I think I'm going to be... Ow! I think I'm going to be just grinding down all of the blocks we have. So all the steel plates, all the um, technologies, all that. We're going to build up our library. But I'm not going to do this like record all of it. So what I'm going to do, I set up my second account. I did reduce a little bit of the quality so it would work. So I can make a time lapse of everything that is uh, being done. Now, I know you asked for it. So thanks to a friend of mine, Possess, I got some song for you ready to play. <laughs>
full. Inventory full. 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 Drop beats. We just got a an attack between Incon and what the hell happened here? Look at the amount of Incon, Incon. There's a lot of stuff happening here. They seem to be attacking the Hestia there. That's going to be a, quite some fight, I'm assuming. But look at the amount of incons that are spawning in. This might be just because I'm using my uh, spectator cam. I'm assuming that is kind of causing more than regular spawns. So yeah, I'm going to keep on grinding down here. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing as well is just moving, uh, or not moving, building another uh, hydrogen tank there so we can just empty these. Then I can keep on grinding this ship away. And then I need to do that still, the, um, these thrusters. Then we are pretty much cleaned up, I would say, uh, for uh, the grind. My god, I did a lot of grinding. It's insane how much resources we have been picking up here. Uh, I've been actually st trying to disassemble a lot of this, as you can see in my assembler. You'll see that I have like whole bunch of materials now platinum platinum cobalt ferrite uh ferrite metal so we we are good uh once i'm done with this anyway i'm gonna keep on grinding this back to the time lapse Alright, so we got all of the wrecks are welded down. This took quite some time. Uh, I already lost track of time how long it took, but uh, I would say definitely like an hour or two hours or something. Um, I still need to grind down these down there, these thrusters. And what I probably will do as well, I will reassemble this pipeline. I'm going to start again from this container here. I'm going to pull up somewhere up here i might actually move this pillar to here as well so we just have a little bit more space and then have a a few conveyors on this area so we can convey everything up we can land our ship closer to terrain then i focus on building the, the roof here and that will be about it i think and then we can uh, focus on leaving i think then we're going to connect our fruit fly and our foundation we're going to connect it all to our uh, nacelle and we're leaving. That's what it's going to be. So uh, let me just grind down these down there. I, I'm not going to speed, I'm not going to speed uh, time lapse this. I'm going to grind these down uh, and then we're just going to time lapse the last part here where I just built the new conveyor system uh, for the ship.
Ooh -hoo. All right, so we're almost there. This is not the most beautiful building, but I also don't want to spend too much time on this, as we might never come back to this place. But it's good to have a good build to come back to in case we ever, yeah, ever crash. This is our uh, backup base. So we're going to have to change this uh, GPS here to... Um, boo. I'm going to call this... Backup base. And this is always going to be a spot to return to in case we die. Building info. Time left. One week. Here it says fully depleted and it doesn't show the time. I mean, this should hardly use any power except for lights, no? You know what I'm going to do? Uh, let's put a solar panel on top of that as well. They would, but they would probably only fit in two slots. So what I think we're going to do is just... Do that, then put a solar panel in between because I think the solar panels are just this thick. See, do that, and then we make a black line. There we go. So now. We just need some sunlight to come in, and this is going to be a self-sufficient base to provide itself with power. Um, I'm going to take these lights off that are no longer on, in use. And I'm going to keep these turrets uh, on this base, just in case. Energy might be a good low. thing to just have a good backup. Alright, what I'm going to do, let's uh, start with uh, connecting the uh, foundation and the fruit fly. Well, the fruit fry. We still need to name this. Uh, what did... I need to check the uh, comments again. Because there was some good... Um, there were some good suggestions. So we can definitely check that out. And I think we're going to put the foundation on the front of this nacelle here. I guess we're going to have to uh, just take the foundation with us. As long we don't have a base of operation. There might be a time where... We'll have a better ship for this. We are locked. We are locked. Okay, I should be able to turn off the power. You know what? Let's turn off the power like this. That way we can ensure that the gyros are not fighting anything. Let's do the same with our little fighter here. And I think the little fighter is going to have to... I think we're just going to land it on here. On the cockpit. Um, For the moment. Get it in the center somewhere there. Mac plate connected and turn off power. There I go. So, foundation. We need to name this uh, fighter. Our nacelle. Our base of operation. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Grind this away. And uh, we just want the connector on the top, a small one. Because uh, we won't be able to connect here anymore. But before we do that, what I should do is do some organization. Where we are ensuring that everything is in the large car container. And then we just move some of the resources back into this base uh, as a backup. In case we die, in case somebody explodes and we spawn in here. We do have a, a good stock to start. Nacelle B, Nacelle B, these can stay. Assembler, let's just move this over. Now, small cargo container. This is the small cargo container on the base. In here, we're going to put some resources. So I'm going to put like, for example, 2,000, I would say. That's a lot. Maybe we should do 1,000 instead. Hello. Then 2,000 steel plates. You see how quickly this fills up? I might have to build a second container. Alright, so what I'm going to do, we're going to build a second container on there. 
Oh. Let's look for the large. Um, so we got some antennas over. Let's move a few metal, metal grids. Let's say 20. Um, this we will be able to mine. Cobalt we might want to put a, a bit over. So let's put like... 1500 cobalt in here. Just in case. Medical components... Yeah, let's put three in here as well, just so we can build a second survival kit. Um, this we're going to stay platinum. Yeah, let's give this uh, 50 platinum. Uh, we could actually put some high-end tools in here that are not high high-end, but high enough. I mean, this will definitely give us a bit of a uh, head start with some tools of that. And I think we're also going to put a gun in here. Although I'm not sure if I have enough ammo. So what I'm going to do still, I'm going to drop some of this here and we can then refine it if it's necessary. So I'm going to put a hundred of these in here. We can refine it and then make bullets if it's necessary. Alright, I think this should be a pretty okay and survivable, survivable base. Right, so the only thing we need to do now is just build that little connector here, which is for next time. And I think we can leave. Base is done. There we go. This is where we leave on. This is the base. My god, the amount of work that went in here. I'm going to have to do some uh, serious time lapsing. I'm going to check how much time I have left and then see what we still can do. That's it. We got our complete base set up we got a complete and functional nacelle ready uh, our oxygen tank is tank is still set to stockpile are you guys still set to stockpile let's uh, change that base is ready i am ready time to go see you later base of operations you have served me well hopefully i do not see you again at least not for a while it is time time to travel beyond the planets are our next destination uh, this is going to take some time um which means uh we probably will have a lot of in between stops i would say but we might also just um, skip ahead. So I will do the travel myself, but we will skip ahead in the video when it's necessary. We will see what happens in our next steps. What is going? What's going to happen? Um, what are we going to come across? And is it really necessary to speed up the process to land on the planet? I don't want to force too much of the content out of it. If there's anything happening important. But I'm really happy. We did a real good progress. We got so much stuff done today. And now we're going to the uh, the next step. Start with the initial missions. As we already, as I uh, made a comment in one of my videos, uh, the pinned comment, I was asking what would be the best steps. So we're thinking about, or my thought is to just go and build outposts on every planet and then once we have visited all the planets, then decide which planet we're going to build a new base of operation, an actual base of operation, where we can then take off towards home. To avoid the uh, assertive bit, see if I can make some distance between that. So we're going to take a uh, pit stop at the magnesium asteroid there. We're going to dock our nacelle on that and mine some magnesium, but we won't stay there for too long. We are weighing like 1.6 million ton. We need some magnesium, so I think we would like to drill some magnesium. I'm considering to actually... Hmm, yeah, so what I'm considering is actually to make like a little bit of a um, a module that I can merge my fighter against, which has a drill and a container, which I can 
simply just go and drill some magnesium, unload it on my nacelle, and while I cannot refine it yet, it would be good to have some magnesium as a backup. Because we are very low on like ammo and stuff, so... I'm sure we'll find magnesium on the planets as well, but it's going to take some time before we get there. So what is going to happen is, as soon as we find a good ship that we want to scrap, uh, we're going to avoid, of course, the Assert and Incon, because we have not enough bullets to do this again. But if we find ships, like scrap ships, we're going to go check them. If we find a refinery, then yippee. Uh, we also don't have a grinder. I mean, we don't have the block, grinder block to build. It's a weird thing. We, we, we had it before, but because we installed the grind to learn, we kind of lost it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to learn it now. I don't know if any ships exist with grinders on it. We'll have to see. Scrap hammerhead. Ooh. This we definitely didn't see. A hammerhead. 10 kilometers somewhere down there. I wonder if we can see it 10 kilometers. The advantage is we can take our fighter to go and check it out. I don't see anything sparkling. It might be just because it's too far. But a hammerhead is definitely something we didn't find yet. Alright, so what we're going to do here. I'm going to leave my nacelle on the asteroid. Then we're going to do some work here where we can have like a, maybe like a connector with a pipe container and a drill on top. So it's like a little bit of a tail that allows us to drill and then use the connector to uh, empty it. We could also just put a, a merge block or something just here and a merge block there. So everything is connected, but it can also be disconnected with a connector on the container. Yeah, that ship on top of my... Um, it's going to be a pain. There we go. Hammerhead. 10 kilometers away. Right there. I'm trying to uh, get my ship to land on that tip there with the Mac plate. And it's pretty dark. So I might do. I might put some gamma on this. So you guys can see more. There we go. We're Mac plated. So we are good. Weapons are on. So we should be protected. Now we just need to go and check out that hammerhead. 10 kilometers so if we are about at eight kilometers away from our ship then we should be able to see the hammerhead we should spot the hammerhead at like eight kilometers for sure does my camera pick it up doesn't pick it up my camera though six kilometers at seven kilometers there it is Ooh, what's on there? 1.6. Is it moving, by the way, or is it just uh, dead? Looks dead. I don't see any... Guys, is that refineries there in the corner? I think these are refineries. This looks like a gun. These look like speed modules. I think that is a gun. Do we risk it? Do we risk it for a biscuit? Whoa! Oh my god! Yep. Goodbye, my tools, because you're going at a serious speed now, no? Fruit fly is 8 kilometers away. My body location is going to be so effing far. Because it's going to keep flying. There only seem to be one gun though. Well. This is the first death. No? Isn't this the first death? At least it's dead by bullets and not dead by headbutt. This ship is very nimble like this. But it's terrible in rotating. All right, we're gonna take him on with the with the with the, the ship. Let's just target first.
Normally it's 800 meters, no. But they shoot at you. I'm out of range, but... As soon as I get a marker... Yeah, that's the marker. Uh, let's just... I'm not sure how long this is going to take before it gets damaged, destroyed. Uh, okay, it's shooting back, shoot it back. Uh, uh, uh. Just need to get to smoke, that's all we need. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Got some good hits. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yeah, yeah. This might not be the only gun, though. I got a few pot shots in there, but we should be okay. Okay, I'm still gonna go out of my fruit fly until I'm sure that there's nothing there, body location. And I keep calling this a fruit fly. I need to change the ship name. I have a feeling this is going to be next episode. Um, this is definitely a refiner. That's good. My body location is on the other side. Hmm. Oh. Can I get my body location without being shot? Because I don't have any... Do I have any tools on me? I do have tools on me. So I don't need to just... Uh, character tools. I'll just put grinder here. Six. And let's take that AI block down. Okay. Um, so. So now I'm just going to switch. Then go back to my grinder. Then we have that sped here we need to grind down. That's the only thing it seems. Alright, let's grind the bed down. And then switch again. And see what is next. There's one gun there. How many turrets are left? One. So if I grind to here. I should now be able to grab my body location. Wait. Did my body location despawn? It did. Uh, now, can I check something? Car container. You have a blueprint. Blueprints for kitchen, armory, toilet sink, dispenser. Use your hand grinder to hack the device. Oh, I need to I need to grind this and then it makes okay. Alright, good. Guys, we got the refinery. I'm, I was so busy trying to survive. We have a refinery. Seriously. Oh, that was one of the easiest... <laughs> My wish came true. If I grind you down, we learn you. Refinery. There we are. Nice. We're so good. So I think I'm going to have to come and pick this up with a nacelle then. Oh no. Alright, anyway. Uh, we know what it is. I'm just going to GPS it. Okay. Uh, we got... We grind down Low. one. So we're good for that. We can go back to our... Um, we, we ground down whatever we wanted. We got the refinery. So the only thing that... We could go back for as for the resources. Uh, if the income passes by without any issues to the hammerhead, then we can go back and grind the rest down. If it should set up, then it is what it is. But a hammerhead. Ah, man, I'm so happy we found this. We got the refinery. We're good now. I can now mine that asteroid with magnesium. We can put a... I don't know if we have a small refinery or not. 
what does it say? So, use your hands grinder to hack the device. So if I grind this thing down, it should unlock all these things for me, or at least the things that I already not have. Planters, maybe, medical station, half bed, half bed open, anniversary statue, passenger seat, sci-fi bar, firework launcher. All right, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna mine some magnesium. So, we should have our conveyor here. Uh, let's focus on building... You know what? Let me just check something. Uh, we do have an assembler, so the assembler should allow us to make new tools. Production tools. I want you to make one of these, one of these, one of these. Then we need to grind this down. I'm going to just drop it out of my inventory and then grind it. Um, come on. Yeah, there we go. The data has been decrypted. There we go. I want to check some projector. We have not learned. No, refinery. Do we have small refineries? That's what I want to know. Can I make a small refinery? I don't think we learned that yet, so... So, I'm going to grind down this block here. Then, I'm going to put a small merge block here. Then, on top of this, we put a container. One. Two. Three. Then, in the back, we put a connector. Like that. In the front, we put a conveyor and a drill. And this is going to be like a mobile drill for the moment. That, then a conveyor in front. Wait, wait, what? I did unlock the grinder. Unknown technology. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Um, drill. Like that. I got. So this should now be able to mine this. We can connect this to our ship and then later on refine it. The hammerhead seems to be fine, so that's good. What we could do is we could just link our ship onto the hammerhead and use the refinery as a mobile base while we refine on the way. Hmm, because I don't want to do any changes to this ship. Put the refinery in here. As the refinery is so large... There's simply no space to put the refiner in here. All right, now, if I go to block tools, I should have to drill here. Six. And that should allow me to drill. Yep. All right. So let's just fill up our container with the magnesium. is filling. Finally. We're almost full. There we go. If you look at the inventory, we now have a whole bunch of magnesium. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I want to go into here, go to all my blocks. We should have a second connector. I'm going to put this to switch lock. That's the one here. So let's put this to switch lock. Connected to switch lock. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to flip this. Like that. Then we're gonna take our nacelle, take it off the Mac plate, and then we connect our ship to that connector. Okay, just 
just need to line it up now. I think a little bit to the left. Uh, until it grabs. And there we go. And connect. And this we can turn off. No fuel. That's okay. And let's go. All right, let's go and pick up that hammerhead. Once we get that hammerhead, we are well. We already have a refinery, but we're gonna be golden. So I think the connector was on the back there of that hammerhead. Well, okay, that was terrible. Great, great job, great job, amazing. Mhm. Mm well done. That was some serious, terrible perception. Honestly, it might be a good idea to just put the connector here and connect the base on the side. Yeah. So let's put the connector here. That way I can also transfer things over back and forth. All right. So I should be able to connect my ship on that now and have it on my connector. That thing is definitely smoking, though. All right, we are in proximity. I guess we can go and connect it now. Switch lock. Now, if we can fix one of these, we can start refining that magnesium while we're flying around. I uh, need to fix some conveyor systems and stuff before it's connected. Um, doesn't work. Heads off. Yeah. Let's turn it on. There we go. Okay. You should now start doing all that for me. Perfect. Now... These power efficiency modules we could try to fix if I find power cells or make power cells. Yeah, I think we need about, what is this, 60, that's 20. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's 120 batteries. I don't know if I have enough for this, but... There we go. So this uh, refinery is going to use less power. Everything seems to be sorted and fixed out now. So this is going to be kind of my module refinery until we get to a point where we can upgrade our base. I think we're going to leave this here until all of the magnesium is also refined here. Uh, is this not moving? Oh, you know what this is? <laughs> you are a static grid, aren't you? <laughs> Info, convert to ship. Yeah. Now we can fly away. All right, as we set our course away from our uh, beloved asteroid base, we are going to venture towards the distant planets. And uh, along the way, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for asteroids that might have some valuable resources like gold, because we will need these for a jump drive once we can build them. Now, the exact destination, I'm not sure. I don't know which planet is closer to that moon or the planet, so we'll see what is first. Um, but we did accomplish a lot in this episode. I mean, we salvaged every block we had on the ships down there. We built a backup outpost and we also just captured a refinery ship, which is such a great progress. I really am happy with that. Now, we're going to have a long journey ahead and I'm a little bit unsure on how to approach this, how to bring you along with the story. Do I just do a real-time exploration uh, of any interesting racks uh, we find and then perhaps use a time-lapse to skip through the quiet moments or just skip ahead and just skip between like finds? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. So as usual, your feedback is always invaluable. So let me know what, you are, what you're thinking, what are your preferences, and I can adjust or at least take them in consideration. But that's going to be it. I want to thank you all for joining me once again in this episode, episode 6 of Proxima Beyond. Of course, if you like this, then hit that thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And I will see you again in the next one. Have a good one. Beelbum out.